Hi, my name is Chef Herschel, and I do all the cooking and catering at Yeshiva Eshe Torah's World Center right here in Jerusalem. And today we're going to make a great dish that you can use for any of your festive meals. This dish is salmon with a peach salsa. This happens to be an Atlantic salmon. It's relatively inexpensive and it works great for this recipe. If you're going to put a sauce on a salmon, then you really can use any kind. If you're going to use just salt, pepper, or a few spices, then you could perhaps buy the better, more expensive salmons. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. We're going to cover it with olive oil on top and a little bit on the bottom. Olive oil, very simple, and some crushed black pepper. That's all you have to do. We're gonna put it in the oven, bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 176 centigrade. We're gonna leave it in there for 15 minutes, check to see if it's done with a fork, if it flakes, if it's not done, we'll check it every two minutes after that in order that it doesn't get overcooked. While the salmon's cooking, take the time to make the salsa. Now, you can use in this salsa, in this case I'm using peaches, but you can use mango, plums, or apricots, any kind of fruit of that type. Chop up the peaches into small cubes and we'll put this into the bowl. Onions. And remember, ask God for help. It's only because of Him that we can do all this. Nice big onion, chopped. Garlic. Fresh garlic is best. You can use garlic salt, garlic powder, frozen garlic. We used fresh chopped garlic here now. Add that. Kuzbara. Again, a beautiful smell. In Israel, you have to buy the type that is grown specifically so there are no bugs. In spite of that, you need to wash it with soap and water, and then you can just chop it fine. Kuzbara. Now we're going to add the juice of a lemon. Whenever you use lemons, again, especially in Israel, make sure that they are very clean because there are scales on them from bugs and we don't want that to become part of our salsa. Squeeze the lemons. The juice of a fresh lemon is great. If you don't have a fresh lemon, use some bottled lemon juice. A little bit of hot pepper. I like to use the dry pepper. It's always available. Fresh hot pepper is also good with this. Remember who's going to be eating, depending on how much hot pepper you put in. You may want to make two salmons, one with hot pepper and one without. Now we're going to add the zest of a lemon. Zest is just like it sounds like. It adds the real flavor. The flavor of the lemon happens to be in the peel, the yellow part of the lemon. So we lightly grade and we let the zest fall right into the salsa. You don't go past the yellow, you don't grade the white and you add that zest and it wouldn't be surprised at how big a difference it makes. Okay, here we have the salsa. Peaches, kuzbara, onion, lemon, juice of the lemon, the zest of the lemon, and I'm not sure, did I mention hot pepper? There's the salsa. Now we'll bring the salmon out and we will dress the salmon. salmon is perfectly done. If you want to test it, take a fork and see if it flakes. It flakes beautifully. It's not overcooked. And on this beautiful baked salmon, we're going to put a very pretty salsa. 
perhaps one of the most beautiful dishes that you ever made with the help of God. Now have in mind, if you're making it for any particular meal, Shabbos, Lichvod Shabbos Kodesh, in honor of Shabbos, in honor of Rosh Hashanah, in honor of the people who are eating it. They say, Ein Kemach, Ein Torah. Without food, no one can learn. Salmon with a peach salsa. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da,